Hey everyone, welcome back. Well, here's my uh, canning jar airstone. I will not call this a failure. It actually worked quite well, but I wasn't quite happy with it. It's just part of my personality. You know, you gotta keep trying new things and new ideas and just gotta keep going with it, right? So this definitely works if you have no other devices. Um, I did notice even it's hard to tell because there's some stone uh, debris, but ever so slightly it started to rust just a tiny bit, and that's after a few days in the water. So that might be a concern. That's okay. Like I said, I'm not going to consider it a failure. But moving forward, I wanted to show you this. Sometimes your first idea is your best. Well, just look at, uh, let's see if I can plug this in while you guys can still see. You see those fine bubbles? That's pretty much as fine a bubble as you're going to get. I mean, can't imagine. I mean, yeah, look at the bigger bubbles in there, but if you look closely, there are microscopic little bubbles. And that's my air pump on the lowest setting, so I'll turn it up. You hear my air pump going crazy because, you know, I don't exactly have the best air pump. But. For my little air pump, that's a lot of bubbles. And more importantly, those are the tiniest bubbles you can get. Now, I don't even think the small ones are showing up on camera, only the large ones. Maybe that's a good shot. You can kind of see them in the center of the screen. But let me show you something. Let me pull this out. All right, now you can hear the pumps off. And bubbles are still coming up because of the pressure. There you go. Now look at this. Same design I've been doing. So I don't want to get my bench too wet here. Just dump that off. Alright. This is a fast food Chinese soup container with the cap, same cap. Now what I did is, it's going to be hard to see, but I took an X-Acto knife and I just cut out the center and all you basically want is the ring. Now look at that, that's still air pressure in there. That's how airtight this thing is. Now if I press down really hard, yeah I can push the air up and through. But what I did is I drilled my same hole down here just like I did in my other video. Tap hole, then very slowly uh, drill the same size hole as the uh, hose, maybe a pinch smaller, and I mean like a 32nd of an inch smaller, just a few uh, millimeters smaller. Fill it full of rock so it can go to the bottom. Same stone I've been using. Look at that, it's still holding the air. Now the membrane is one of these. It's a, a microfiber cloth for cleaning uh, glasses or cleaning camera lenses they're like a dollar that's it so that'd be besides the uh, cord that's your only real investment because Chinese food container is free and rock is free look at that it's still holding the air now let me press down on this there you go now all the air's out but as you see it works absolutely beautiful for those of you that were uh, wanting smaller bubbles it definitely does smaller bubbles it's refilling up the pressure of all the air I pushed out there it comes like I said that's my pump on the lowest setting actually that's a good shot of the small bubbles there if I turn it up I can only imagine, once I get my real air pump, I'm going to be get ordering in a few days here. I set up a second one of these, I'll be set to go. <laughs> well, 
that should conclude the do-it-yourself airstone. Um, can't get any cheaper than that, and that is equivalent to what? Was that maybe five inches, four and a half inch, five inches? Airstone. Those run what five, six dollars sometimes, maybe even sometimes more, depending on who you're ordering it from. That's free. Well, a dollar free if you have the cloth hanging around. I had uh, extra cloth hanging around for free because I actually got it free when I ordered uh, extra batteries for my camera. Go figure, I ordered new batteries for my camera and they sent me lens cleaner cloths, but they'll make great air stones. Uh, thanks for watching guys, I hope, uh, hope this video helps.